ladies and gentlemen have dressed up for London's Tweed Run, most probably the world's most eccentric bicycle race. It's taking place here for the 11th time. For Tom Carradine and his son Andre, it's their third Tweed Run. The pianist and singer is a fan of the music and fashions of the 1920s and 30s, the era the race celebrates. It's something I've been meaning to do for years. Lots of my friends in the vintage music scene um, have, have done it for years. and I've, I've always been busy. I've never, never been able to, to do it. Um, and three years ago, I was like, no, I'm, by hook or by crook, I'm going to do it. So I uh, got in there quite, because you have to get in quite early with the tickets, because they sell out so quickly. Um, so yeah, got the, date in, got, there, got the date in the diary, and I was like, nothing, by hook or by crook, I'll be, I'll be there. Some participants love old bicycles, others are fans of tweed, and some take part just for the fun of it. Many have made their own outfits and taken great care to get their vintage look just right. This has been kind of in the works for the last few weeks, I suppose. Um, actually, I, I had everything, different bits together, and uh, yeah, they're kind of going with the colour scheme and kind of matching. It's, there we go. <laughs> this year's trendy accessories, feathers, whether on hats or on shoes. The clothing is, of course, made of tweed, a rough wooden fabric that originated in Scotland and is part of British clothing tradition. Oh my word! You couldn't get more British. This is pra this is this is typically British. Um, the great thing in Britain we have is um, e eccentricity. We can all be slightly crazy, and uh, uh, something like the Tweed Run just allows us all to have that ability, just to yeah, be slightly crazy, wear something maybe slightly out there. Because I mean yeah, you wouldn't see cyclists dressed like this in central London normally. So it just gives us an excuse for that. Almost a thousand cyclists take part in the 19-kilometer race, which crosses Westminster Bridge and passes Buckingham Palace. Tweed runs are now held around the world in New York, Tokyo and St. Petersburg. The number of participants grows by the year. I guess it's just a fun thing to do. It makes everybody smile. It makes, you know, it's a fun day. It's a funny combination of people who like cycling, like dressing up, and it creates a spectacle for other people. It might have to do with uh, everything becoming digital and, and people sort of miss uh, the old days. The retro cyclists pedal into the modern era with charm and style. After the first stage of the London Tweed Run, there's a picnic, complete with traditional afternoon tea. So, um, traditional English afternoon tea um, have uh, our sandwiches with a, with a crust cut off. And then, of course, followed by the scones, um, which you split and have with cream and jam, and then a mixture of cakes um, with lashings of champagne and a pot of tea on as well. After the break, the cyclists head for the finish line. After almost six hours, this year's Tweed Run comes to an end. Like every year, the retro riders' return is followed by the closing ceremonies. Prizes are awarded to the best dressed woman and man and for the best headgear. But that's just the icing on the cake. They're simply glad to be here. The thing that brings us together is the cycling and the tweed for, for many, many different reasons. So that's, it's, a, it's a leveler. Everyone's the same today. We're all having, so irrespective of kind of political um, beliefs or, or um, views, it doesn't matter. It, it's, it's, the, it's this one event that, that brings us all together. And to round off a perfect day, they raise a toast in true British style with a pint or two. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>